Hello everyone, it's Kobes here and today I have a Clash of Clans video, so let's get started. When I saw this base, I like, I knew right away I had to attack it and I had my full army and um, there's almost six, 600,000 of each resource and a ton of Dark Elixir, so I was definitely going for um, mostly Dark Elixir and Gold, but um, the Elixir was definitely on my mind. So I dropped my Golems, Wizards, Wall Breakers, P.E.K.K.A.S., Barb, Barb King, in that order. And then I dropped some more wall breakers and wizards behind. And I, um, that freeze spell wasn't the best. I probably could have froze that expo. But um, it, it ended up working out in the end. And that expo really wasn't doing too much damage. And um, at this point I knew my barb king and my wizards were going to be able to take out that um, dark elixir storage. And um, I was just really happy with that. Even getting like... 2,000 dark, dark elixir is amazing. And then they end up taking out that clan castle, getting me like 400 more. And then taking out this town hall. That gets me about um, 600 more. And then that dark elixir drill up there is being taken out by my archers. So let me speed this up. So yeah, that's basically the end of the raid. My archers end up taking out that dark elixir drill. And um, then my golems end up dying out after... Um, the Tesla and the Archer Queen or the Archer Tower takes them out. So let's move on to the next attack. For this next attack, it's pretty similar the base layout, but I decided to go from the other side. And um, I don't know why exactly I went from this side because usually I go from the side where the heroes are, but they were both over there, so I just decided to go this way and try to um, destroy this base. I kind of do the same exact thing as last time. And I drop that rage spell, and all my troops are just going to go to the center. There aren't many um, like outside structures, so it just works out perfectly. And with that earthquake spell, basically I can get like half of the storages without any sort of problems. And um, I drop that freeze spell, which freezes both infernos, and um, I drop that rage to help destroy that last inferno. Um, that goes down pretty easily, and then the dark elixir storage goes down even easier and I still have a bunch of troops left um, here let me speed this up so I was kind of like skeptical if I was going to be able to get that um, the rest of the dark elixir and um, at this point once they broke through to this side I knew they wouldn't go around the base and destroy that dark, dark spell factory and they'd break into this wall and they would be able to get the rest of this dark elixir for me so I was pretty happy with that honestly and I was able to get about th or a little bit over 3,000 Dark Elixir. Here is another base with a massive amount of loot. And I decide to break in from the hero side, drop all my golems um, spread out like I usually do. Wizards behind them, wall breakers after that. And um, th the one thing I thought I probably could have changed about this raid was not bring the witches and bring a P.E.K.K.A. Or bring more which is in um, one less P.E.K.K.A. Because I think with only two witches, uh, I didn't really get that much out of them, and I could have gotten more out if I had brought in one more P.E.K.K.A. And I was able to freeze both of those Infernos very easily because they're right next to each other, and I take them out without really any problems, and then I take out that Town Hall, and I'm at about 4,000 Dark Elixir at this point, so I'm happy. And um, honestly, I didn't even expect to get that much but I ended up getting that much, and um, yeah, that that's basically it for this raid. I end up only getting like 41%, and I try to take out this Dark Elixir um, drill over here, but I really wasn't successful, but I still ended up with a ton of loot. So um, yeah, I changed up my base a little bit, if you guys couldn't tell. Um, I think I need to change it up. This is kind of just a sloppy throw together, but I think it is better than my old base. And I don't get attacked as much um, because my Dark Elixir is way safer than it was prior to um, this base. And I've been working on some walls here. I'll kind of show you how many I got. Um, at the end of each video, I'll show you how many I did. Um, I'll definitely have to attack off camera tonight to try to get the Dark Elixir so I can upgrade either my Hero or my um, Archer Queen or my Barb King. I don't know if I'll have enough for my Archer Queen, so I might have to do my Barb King. Um, yeah, but I got all these walls done and all of these on this side and then the middle section. 
So I still am going to try to work on getting all of them to 8 and then to 9. Um, but for right now, let's do another attack and try to get a lot of Dark Elixir. Here's the last replay. So um, honestly, this attack didn't go as planned, but I still did get a decent amount of Dark Elixir. So I decided to break in through the queen side with that Earthquake spell. And um, I dropped my Golems in a line, but spread out. Wi wizards in a line, but spread out. And then I dropped like, all, all the rest of my troops, um, except for a couple Wizards and um, Archers. So they did end up going around the outside, but that isn't the worst thing that could have happened. Um, I ended up dropping that Freeze spell, and it froze like a what a hidden tesla some skeletons in that inferno and that inferno is just frying everything um but i was able to get like those dark elixir um drills which had three thousand dark elixir in them and then my troops decided to go into the center portion and try to take out this town hall um which they end up doing fortunately and i get even more um dark elixir let's see how much more like 400 more and i am able to secure the two star and then over here i drop an archer and two wizards to take out this or try to take out the gold mine and i was able to get 3400 dark elixir so that's going to do it for this video. Thank 153 more level 7 walls to get to level 8.